You want to find out why we don't like CrossFit? Listen to this. Our next caller is Sarah from Idaho. Hey, Sarah. How can we help you? Hey, um, I love your podcast. Thank you. I've been a frequent listener for over a year now. Um, just a little history about me. I'm 48. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing CrossFit for a couple of years now, uh, but working out probably steadily for 15 years. Just I love weights. Weights is probably my favorite thing. But after doing CrossFit for two years, I feel like I'm not getting stronger doing the CrossFit workouts Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Weird. Um, each workout does have a strength portion, but you are only doing one thing, such as a deadlift or a bench press or a hang clean, et cetera. And then the workout of the day usually uses that strength in part of that with a much decreased weight. Um, but I want to throw in some weight days, maybe on the days that I'm not doing CrossFit, but I'm not sure about the cross about the programming because some CrossFit days we're using multiple muscle sets. I don't want to overtrain, but I want to get stronger. I enjoy CrossFit. I know you guys sometimes talk badly about it, but I like it for the endurance it gives me. What would you suggest? I want to be I want to be clear on the 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 CrossFit thing because we do we do tend to tease a lot about it. Like there's a lot of very positive things that CrossFit has be, uh, brought to the fitness community. But your question is the reason why we don't like it because most people have goals just like you have or have specific things that they want to focus on and yeah. that programming there's a is a better way to do it. Yeah, there's a much better approach to achieve what you're looking for than following a group class uh that's very intensity based um and Cro that crossfit gets you good at c competing in crossfit is that what you're trying to do no no i'm i've been just competing in the game of life here okay. so okay so i mean this is the challenge and i get it by the way sarah i, I understand this but it, it's 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 i t when i meet people who do crossfit in your situation not people who are trying to compete in the sport but rather they're trying to improve their health and fitness and their strength and they come to me and it's almost like I'm talking to somebody that is in a, a dysfunctional relationship with a partner. It's like they come to me and they're like, <laughs> yeah. hey, you know, my husband throws dishes at me and calls You're me saying, names, but Stockholm you know, but I love him. I uh, love but him. yeah, we got you know, we're you know, I <laughs> yeah. want to stay with him. So like what it's like, okay, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Um you like he still the has my CDs. Yeah. I don't want to leave yeah. those. I don't think and I'm gonna uh, I hope I don't make you uncomfortable, Sarah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out a little bit. I don't think you like the endurance of CrossFit. I think you like the fact that you get beat up in your workouts. I think you like the sweat and the pain. <laughs> am I, am I, is that the, be honest, is that the deal? I mean, I do like that. I like, uh, okay. I like, I call myself kind of an endurance ADD person. Yeah. I don't like to just go out and run. I don't like to just go out and bike. I like to do something different every time. Yeah. So, and cause here's why you're, you're probably not gaining any more endurance or strength at this point. Uh, the CrossFit program, that's different from place to place. And different with different coaches. Some coaches are good, but generally speaking, um, unless you're going to compete in an event that uh, that is CrossFit, there's not a lot of value in comparison to better programmed workouts. So if you like endurance, I can give you a program that'll give you better endurance. If you like strength, I can give you a program that's going to give you better strength. If you like to beat the crap out of yourself, I think you should stick to CrossFit. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so these yeah. are the things that that you want to ask yourself. So, if you're looking for better stamina and strength, and you like that athletic functional aspect, and you said you have that endurance ADD, which yes. I get that as maps well. Performance all day. We're gonna go maps performance or maps strong. Map strong or maps performance. You're gonna have fun. It's different. It gives you some of those components, but you're gonna improve. You're gonna get. You're not just gonna have hard workouts. You're gonna see your strength go up. You're going to see your your endurance and stamina improve. You're going to feel good. It's not going to feel like you're teetering on the edge of of overtraining like you may be feeling right now. Yeah, honestly, mass performance was like our answer to a lot of uh, you know, like it was is actually a good transition for me with a lot of CrossFit clients that I, I used to have, where we would take them through actual functional strength type exercises. And I know that's, you know, that's a lot of the appeal of it is that you're moving in a lot of different directions. You know, it, it's fun because it's almost like you don't really know what to expect. Challenging. Yeah. And, and you're in a group yeah. environment and you kind of feed off of everybody. So I totally get, you know, what they're trying to do with that. And they did a masterful job of making it like a community experience. Um, but in terms of like you progressing forward and getting strong, you know, we have to be specific. 
And this is where, you know, good programming actually changes the, all that up for you. So it, it really is just going to revolve around whether or not, you know, you're comfortable enough to, to step outside and, and do something that's, you know, maybe uh, outside of, of that environment. Yeah. Sarah, I'm going to make a deal with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can say no. All right. Okay. You, don't, you don't have to say yes. You can say no. If you promise to do what I'm about to tell you to do for at least five weeks, what I will give you is I'm going to give you Maps Performance, Maps Strong, and I'm going to give you Maps Prime because I want to make sure that you prime properly so that you don't get injuries and maybe correct some imbalances you might have developed following the CrossFit uh, programming. Is that a deal? Would you take that deal? I would take that deal. All right, done. Yeah. Done. I'm going to give you all three of those. Okay, so I never give away three programs. I always give away just one. So I'm going to give you all three. Just start with Maps Performance, okay? Do the first five weeks. If you don't like it, go back to what you were doing before. But if you like it, stick with Mass Performance, then follow Maps Strong after that. The entire time you're following both, make sure you prime properly. You'll get that out of Maps Prime. It'll teach you how to do that. And I bet you're going to be blown away. I bet you're going to be like, wow, I, I didn't know what I was missing. The the one tiny thing I, I want- I think that's great. The one tiny thing I want to add, uh, because I've also trained a lot of clients that loved CrossFit and then I ended up coaching- um, is because it, it creates this competitive environment and this kind of go-go mentality. Um, make sure you're following the program as laid out, right? So you'll notice that we have tempo in there. We have rest periods built mm-hmm. in there. And so follow the rest periods as we've programmed them because that's just as important to the exercise it's selection. It's a part of the programming. So and and I and CrossFit clients of mine have this tendency to kind of go, go, go. And they're mm-hmm. there and they just want to they want to see how much they can do, how fast they can do it, and how much they can get out in that time. And uh, because I know a lot of it's designed that way, where that's not how I want you to train. I want you to get adequate rest. And you know, certain phases, you have shorter rest periods. Certain phases in our programs, you have longer rest periods. And the idea is that when you're in that phase, you stick to it. There's there's science behind why we programmed it that way, and you will benefit from it if you if you stay true to it. And there'll come a time when you'll be standing there between sets, and you'll be like. Oh, I'm bored or this is easy I or be doing like five things. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. I could do this now. Or I could do that. <laughs> and you need to fight that urge, fight that urge to want to go right back at it. Just because you feel like you can, you need to follow the programming, give your body that adequate rest and then go out again. That's, that's my one yes. thing that I want to add to advice. This. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Sarah. Is there anything else? Um, you know, that that's, that's it. I, I will definitely try this for five weeks and, and we'll see where we get. Hell yeah. And check, please yeah, check, please check in with us. Check back with us. Let us know what happens. All I right. think I know what you're going to say, but think, yeah. do, do it anyway. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. The, the uh, dysfunctional relationship people have <laughs> sometimes with CrossFit is so I love funny. That you called her out on that. Well, I, I, how many times have you heard that? It's, oh, a, it's every time. Yeah. I want to get stronger and, but I like the, you know, I like the performance aspects. I'm like, was your performance improving? Well, no. Okay. What you yeah. actually like is the beat up part of the well, workout. The, you know, the other thing that we call someone like that is cortisol junkies. Of know? course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just, they're, they just love that adrenaline rush. And she are kind of alluded to being somebody like this totally. where she probably needs needs to kind of get after like that to feel the same thing which which is why i gave the advice i did because i know that same person totally has a real fucking hard time real hard sitting time. for 90 seconds before the next set it just feels like an eternity for that person and if she disregards that and goes right into it then she's going to lose a lot of the benefits yeah. of the program but otherwise I would, we're just completely going into like cardio with weights yeah, yeah and, and, I, and we and gotta eliminate that what i've even told people who had a really hard challenge with this is i would say okay fine here's what we're going to do then we're going to follow good programming for resistance training. And then on these other days, you like that competitive, whatever. Let's find something. Rock climbing or, you know, parkour or, yeah. you know, like do something that- you Start that, a rec league and go speed. Yeah, play, yeah. like that, where, where you, that, that's a part of what you're doing. But don't apply it to your exercise programming because then it, then it just becomes all about the pain. And you'll get away with that for a certain period of time. But at some point- your body's going to rebel. Now, I do want to add something to it. If she's listening to this, hopefully she goes back and listens to our response after the call. Um, we, You gave her performance and strong, which I think is a very smart transition because it's going to appeal to her the most and totally. that's hopefully we win her over. Uh, but I would follow that up with MAPS Anabolic, yeah. right? So I, I would like to see her go performance, strong, and then I would want to take mm-hmm. her. And hopefully I have in I'm performance- I'm trying to get her. I'm I know. win her first, I know what so. you're doing. Yeah. And so I'm hoping that I win her over in performance and strong like you did. Like now she'd trust us. Oh my God, I got stronger. I feel amazing. She's going to see all these great results. Then now, now that she has our trust, I say, okay, now you're going to follow Anabolic. 
And you're going to have way less volume. You're yeah. only going to train three days a week. Like You're going to rest a lot more yeah. and just focus on strength. Yeah, or powerlift even, right? So I'd like her to go to powerlift or anabolic. So if you're listening and you and you trust the process and you see the great results that you should see if you follow it, go performance, go strong, and then jump back to anabolic and or powerlift direction. That's where I'd go. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.